It's time. How long has it been now? That was, uh, anybody ever figure out the date on that win? That was the end of, end, of, uh, end of May. End of May. Here we are, August. Finally getting our 604 back together. Let's do it. Let's do it. So that means it's a big day. We're setting the motor in the hole. That 604 crate engine that we won the $10,000 check at Alltech, and then it got tore down uh, there after the race was legal, obviously. Um, it is going right here, back in its home. The uh, 604 car, our original, this is the first capital that we had. We bought it back when we, you know, a few months after the channel got started. It's one we won the National 100 with. Then we got the new car over the off season, put the Super in it, and then this became the crate car, and now it's getting its crate motor back. Oh yeah, you gotta get it ready. By the way, while they're doing all that, I think it's gonna be raining the whole day, and y'all know how this metal roof is, so I apologize in advance if y'all can't really hear us, but it is nice that it's not, uh, the, the heat index today was 110 degrees, so I'm, I'm liking the rain. Yeah, it's cooled off quite a bit. <laughs> it changes it the temperature in here about 20 degrees yeah. when it goes to raining. How did we end up barefoot today? <laughs> Yeah, the Crocs, who needs them? Let's just go barefoot. My feet were sweating, and I don't like I'm sweating in the Crocs. <laughs> you don't like sweating. The, is that why you wear socks That's with why your Crocs? I, that is why I wear socks. Now y'all like know. I my feet sweating within the Crocs. So the other thing we're going to try to sort out today, that was a $10,000 win. And I keep getting people asked, well, how much did the rebuild cost or the, the putting it back together cost? So at some point today, we'll break down what, it, you know, I guess what the $10,000 win really was once you figure in putting the motor back together, having to go get it, all that mess. So we'll let you know that at some point as well. Right now we're about to get a flywheel and motor mounts and all that on this thing. Working together. Hey, we work better together. Yeah, exactly. Until y'all get in a fight. Hey, we have never gotten to it. Well. well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes you just gotta fight it out. I think we ended up rolling off of their porch one time. Who kind won? of fighting. Who won? Well, he was in a bad mood that day, and I knew it, so I just pushed his buttons. <laughs> and then next thing you know, we was, you know. This ain't been 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. Or more. more. Or years. more was than this before years. or after high school graduation? Probably before. Okay. More than 10 years. Mm -hmm. Y'all are getting old. Hey, you loud. better watch it, Dylan. Hey, we got digging with us today. Y'all remember from a few videos back. Diggins, what, Diggins E71? Diggins E71. Diggin underscore, underscore E71. We'll put it right here somewhere in the bottom oh, of the screen. Y'all yeah, can check out. Such a big day, so much going on, they had to call in some backup, you know. Yeah, that's exactly what so it was. I'm going to sit around and tell them what they're doing wrong. Yeah. Well, in drag racing, here's how we do it. <laughs> yeah, y'all check out Diggins channel if you haven't already. Bolted enough horsepower, they can't turn anymore. <laughs> it ain't happening yet. Hey, sometimes these things will get tight and they won't turn like you want them to. Three, three lights. lights. Three, three lights. lights. Alright, that's what you're going to want to do now here. Now that you that have all, all the, the ugga duggas yeah. necessary. Now that you have all of the bolts run up, you're going to want to make sure you have a fully charged battery and then torque them to spec. That's how many ugga duggas is spec? Well, we'll just watch and see. Unbelievable. Okay, <laughs> okay that one's good. <laughs> Pro, semi pro tip of the day. Good. Good. Here you go. Yep. All right. It ain't He's like it's going to be on there very long because after we win this race at Cochran, they're going to tear us down again. Yeah. That is the next race with this 20,000 to win. Crate Race in USA, Cochran Motor Speedway, Cochran, Georgia. That's Labor Day weekend. Isn't it? Labor yeah, Labor Day weekend. So that will be where this will be running, and it's 20,000 win. I would expect the winner to get tore down. So that would be nice to be tore down again. Be a shame, but it'd be nice. Be good, oh, darn. It'd be, be a good problem to have. Be a good shame. Watch your foot, watch your foot. Hey, that's why you gotta wear shoes. Yeah, preferably still toes around here. 
Stands right in the way. <laughs> All right, so we don't have a transmission in this car. No, we need it. Jesse stole our no. Did you steal our transmission? Uh huh. This transmission's in that car. Uh, so my we, transmission got rebuilt, and I think it's in the trailer. Okay, but we'd like to keep it in the trailer. Yeah, we need so a new transmission. We don't know what we're gonna do on transmission. If y'all remember, we we robbed the transmission out of this car, put it in Jesse's car for his last race. We need to have a spare in the trailer, which we have. All Jesse does is take the stuff off my car so he can race. Yeah, that's I it. Pay. I tell you what, we'll leave the quarter panel on your car. Hey, Jesse, yeah, we do got to de decide that. No. I think they wanted Jesse to have the new quarter panel. Really? <laughs> more, more votes went to Jesse than Joseph. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think they know what you're going to do when you get there. Well, I think they know where you're, what line you're running and qualifying at Sonoya. If they put a quarter panel on your car, you better not bend it. Hey, wait till I prove them wrong. Well, <laughs> is that if Jess, Joseph gets a quarter panel, it's going to go to Jesse inevitably. Eventually, it works its way. It may not be a string. Well, it. actually, the, car, the quarter panel on Joseph's car right now came off of Jesse. Wow. Yeah. Well, but it may have been on Joseph's okay. before then. It was on Joseph's, so I took it off there for <laughs> Hey, people get on to us for swapping parts all the time, but that's why. That and before I forget, by the way, the next race, we're going to Cochrane with this Labor Day weekend, but our next race will be Sonoya. Hold on. The weekend before Labor Day. I think that's the, like, the 28th of August. And we're planning on taking both Jesse 602 and the super late model and to answer the question last video we asked y'all which car needed to have the new quarter panel i think we're leaving the old one on joseph's car and putting a new one on jesse's partly that's because that one's already on there so it's less work but also because i think the majority of you said we should put the new one on jesse give him something new for a change the downfall of our dollies is when you're putting in a motor you got to pull the dolly out of the way and put that jack stand under there <clears throat> Oh, could have taken the nose off, man. Wouldn't yeah. take five you're seconds. Good. You're good. You're good. Come yeah, on. You're, 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 you're. We got all our parts. No, that ain't parts. Okay, there's hey, a bolt box. On it. Wait, you're. Easy down. For those of you not familiar, there's the seals right there. Those are rebuild. Those are okay. the Crate USA. Give those out to, to uh, certified rebuilders. So it's sealed at the oil pan, the head, somewhere up there on the intake one. And are y'all cussing each other over there? No, uh, we're trying to. We got <laughs> there is a, I think you see it right there. That's on the timing cover there, right? Um, Ooh, I know that. The oil pan kind of hit the, now, about the full plug. Full, you got full, full pump good. we got our spacers for the under the oh. motor mount uh, yes right there. There in that box um whoa kick it kick it over oh but you ain't got no shoes on hey mm. he's i got the, hey on. he's got yeah <laughs> he's got tough feet man hey whoa whoa what about our our belt i gotta get under there and hold the belt oh, housing bell housing you're in charge so it only don't weigh but just a minute. You know, it all weighs just a minute. I can just hang the belt on top of the pump. Where are the creepers? Hey, I can put the belt over the top of the pump, right? Prime, prime time for a hair growth commercial. We're pulling the belt housing completely. Yeah, just give us a minute. All right, y'all taking forever. Well, it's not bad. Dylan! Yeah! Be a good time to tell the viewers about your big race coming up. Oh yeah. All right guys, so while they're not doing anything, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got a big race coming up. This is gonna be Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0. Long story short, I've gotta drive my drag truck about 1500 miles, four tracks in five days, and everything I need for it has to go with me in the truck from track to track to track. So be sure to check me out on that. Diggin' Z71 with an underscore between the two. And, y'all done yet? Not yet. All right, well. And I need to buy a t-shirt. And listen, listen, if you want to help me get there, you've got to go to my website and pick up a t-shirt. I am running slim on sizes, but I might have some reordered. You never know. But if you want to help me get there, if you want to see me race, you want to see me do well, digginz71.com. Pick yourself up a t-shirt. That helps us out more than you know. Come on, then. What? Ready? Yeah, come on.
Yeah, I got the bell housing. Yeah. So you got your spacer in place? Yeah. Coming down. Whoa, whoa, hey, easy. Go back up. You're what pull the motor your way. A little bit. Well, stop off. Gotta come down about three. Now we need to go back though on my side. Yeah. Come down. Easy. Don't right. Left. Two inches from being in. Yeah, you like got to come back. Yeah. So kick the kick the kick the. All right. What about you now? I'm getting there now, bud. Oh, we're in. We're in. Hold on. Put your bolts in your motor mounts. This little. All right, bolts in, nuts started. Come in the rest of the way down. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right, Johnny. At this time, y'all ready to grab this bell housing from me? Oh, don't move. Oh, don't move that? Dude, it's too late now. I had my arm propped up. This is why this is so hard. Why, Dylan? They don't move that. Move, moves that. <laughs> Proceed. Proceed. Hard. Proceed. Yeah. To move. I really can't see anything in there. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a light. Yeah. Oh, pull it back, Jonathan. Got it. All right. Okay. Start your boat. That started, Joseph? Yeah. Jesse, you got yours? Mm -hmm. Probably not. <laughs> no, well, go ahead, Joseph, and give me a. Uh, yeah, Jonathan, on. I got mine. All right, I'm on kind of. Jesse probably has an older boat. Yeah. Give, give me one of those. Give me a boat, Joseph. I'll start at the bottom. Majority of them. Alright, the motor mounts are tight. We can verify that. Woo, that was dirty. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Alright. All right, so there it is in the hole. We can start bolting on components now. The question a lot of folks have been asking is like, how did that work out? It was a $10,000 win. Motor got tore apart, so obviously it's gotta be put back together. So what does it come down to? Like how much did the win actually end up being worth? The good thing I should say right off the bat is that Race Tech, that's who does our crate engines, Eric at Race Tech, and he takes good care of us. But if you just wanna look at it from purely how much would this um, typically cost? When a motor gets torn apart, a lot of times in tech, a lot of times it's protested. And depending on what sanctioning body, I didn't look to see what Crate Racing USA, what their fee is, but I want to say it's around 1200 bucks, something like that. And the majority of that is going to go to the racer to take to the engine builder to get the motor put back together. Unfortunately for us, the series tore us apart, so there's no protest money whatsoever. Your uh, cost to put the engine back together just comes out of what you want. So we had two options. We could just get the engine kind of put back together. Um, they had pulled ahead, so we could just get it put back together that way, and you'd be looking at probably around a thousand bucks, something like that, to get it put back together. But with us, we decided it was almost time. The engine was about due for a rebuild, so we just had it taken all the way down and freshened up. And that, the average cost, typically what you're looking at for something like that is three grand. So you're looking at a $10,000 win. Bare minimum, we would have spent around 1200 bucks to get it put back together. Also, you gotta go to Georgia is where Race Tech is. So I'm looking at expenses and getting back and forth. Um, I think maybe I had three or 400 bucks in that. Um, so you're looking at bare minimum, it costs you, and figure time getting the motor in and out as well. You're looking at it costing you probably 1500 bucks, bare minimum. So that $10,000 win is then an $8,500 win. In our case, like I said, we did a freshen up and that's usually around three grand. So you're looking at more like a 6,500 or a $7,000 one. But we were gonna have to freshen that motor up eventually anyway. Moral of the story is it says $10,000 on the check, but by the time we got this thing put back together in the car, it wasn't exactly a $10,000 win. Still a good win and we're proud of it either way, right? Yeah, beat, beat, beat me a second. Yeah, we still were money ahead a second. I think second paid five grand.
and like we said we hope we have to pull it out and tear it down again in just a few weeks now i see that that's what you needed why don't you say hand me the shroud cover whatever well you knew what i meant the cover you know what that means hand me that yeah, that. Like, look at look at all these that's. That, no, no, some of those are these and those. So <laughs> that's that's that. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, I, I'm learning. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, that's in the hole over there. We got uh, the carburetors right here, so we can't crank it today anyway. This car will be racing in Labor Day weekend. Twenty thousand to win um we'll be running this thing so we got a little while to finish it up our next race will be sonoya august 28th with both of these joseph will be running the head junior memorial up there and jesse will be running in the 602 division so we'll get y'all some more videos soon getting these things finished up getting ready for next week in the meantime y'all be sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll see y'all later